Welcome to Color Up Poker. This is day 30. I can't believe it's been 30 days already. Time has flown by. Um, I'm back here at the Grand Sierra Resort. I'm gonna jump into the one, two game. And I gotta say, actually really nervous again this time for this session. I think it's, I studied and watched so many videos. There's so much information I bombarded myself with. I probably overdid it, I think. And um, so it's making me a little nervous of all these ideas and thoughts going through my head. So I think I'm just gonna slow down, have fun today, just play some poker and maybe institute one thing. For instance, I think my last video I mentioned, if there's limpers in front of me I'm, and I'm gonna, op I'm gonna raise, then uh, make it a little bigger than my standard opening raise. So maybe I'll just try to institute that for today. Other than that, just play poker, try to relax and have a good time. So day 30, let's get after it. So immediately failed to follow my game plan of raising bigger in late position with limpers in front of me. I start off the session just folding a lot of junk. I finally get a hand, ace, jack of diamonds, and I'm on the button. I open the betting to $6, small blind folds, and the big blind makes the call. Flop comes eight, jack, four with two spades. I bet for $10, and that ends the hand. Here I have a pair of sixes in the cutoff. I guess I could raise, but I just call the blinds. Button folds and I go to the flop with the blinds. Two over cards. Both blinds check. With a small pair, these are scary cards, but I'm in position and I could bet a little. I decide to check as well. Turn comes ace of clubs. After both players again check, I decided to take a stab at the pot. I just bet for five and I guess no one has an ace or a queen. You know this is a slow day if I'm discussing hands like this. I've lost my patience and decide to get involved with a mediocre hand. Two players limp and it gets back to me and I only raised a $6. Jeremy, I thought we had a plan. I should have made it at least $10 here, adding a couple bucks for each limp. Behind me folds, button calls, and small blind folds. A larger raise could have avoided the situation where I'm out of position with this hand, I don't know. Flop comes jack three king. I have second pair, but that's a lot of clubs on the board. I start with $5 and button makes the call. Six of spade. I check to see if he bets the king or the flush, but he just checks behind. River is a two of diamond, changes nothing. I should be good here, probably a bet for value is correct. I don't know. I check, he bets out for $10. This is confusing, maybe a missed draw? He isn't betting the turn or river cards. I make the call, he turns over, jack ace. He had a flush draw, but my kicker was the problem here and my position. Nine eight of diamonds in late position. Again, I don't follow the game plan. Limper in front of me and I only make it $6. Small blind makes the call and the rest fold out. Flop comes seven, seven, four with two spades. Checks to me and I make it $6. He makes the call. Jack of hearts. I do have an inside straight draw, but this is a bluff, hoping he doesn't have some face cards with a jack. I make it $15 and it gets through. I'm learning position is the name of the game. After an hour, and as you've seen, I've not been involved in much. I'm in the big blind here with nines. Two players limp and small blind calls. I guess this is a time where you can check with these middle pairs. I decided to raise it to $12. At least I finally sized my bet a little better. Button makes the call and I get a heads up. King 7-5. Okay, only one over card. I make it $10 and button calls. The beautiful nine hits the turn. I call out a bet of $25 and player beats me into the pot. Hmm. The river is a 10 of diamond. Shouldn't be an issue. I check. I want to see if he bets the flush after calling me with that third heart on the board last round. He bets for $25 more. I'm thinking really the only thing that beats me is hearts here, right? I have a little over $100 left. I have to call or re-raise. But if I think he has hearts, why would I raise? I'm pretty sure I made a mistake and I decide to raise. I go all in. He makes the call and I sigh. He has the hearts. Nope. He rivered a 10 for a higher set. I'm sure there is something to learn here. Betting mistakes. Maybe he should have just called there. Getting beat set over set is a tough loss. Okay, so that did not go as planned. I did feel loose. 
I wasn't getting many cards to play. Um, I ended up playing hand and got a bluff through, but uh, as you saw there, I probably made a pretty bad move jamming. Um, you're supposed to bet for value or as a bluff, and I don't know if I did either. So I said I had, was thinking about too much. I don't know if I was thinking about enough in that situation, but hopefully I can turn it into a learning experience and that's all I can ask for is to get better. Like I said, this is the real deal. I don't know what I'm doing out here, but uh, hopefully I'm going to be learning along the way and just take this as a teachable or moment, learnable moment, teachable moment. But um, yeah, so day 30 is in the books. We're back down to pretty much even. And uh, right now, I guess we'll show the thing here. I guess I'm in the green technically, thanks to the rake back uh, promotion. But um, other than that, I'm kind of playing losing poker. I'm having fun though, so, and I'm, just there's so much, so many dynamics in this game and I, I'm loving it so far. So yeah, hopefully next time I'll have better luck on coloring up. Mm -hmm.